Hello, Cancer. Hopefully you can still see everything. I got like my cereal box here trying to protect the board from the fucking light of the sun. Welcome, welcome to your mid-January to beginning of February reading for this current year. I got all my cards laid out. I'm doing something different, right? I've never laid out cards before and I tried doing it last night and it was it, it was new for me. It was like, oh, this actually works better than what I thought it was. No wonder other readers do this. Never knew that before, right? But it's whatever. So. Cancer and cross watchers alike. This is for the can sign of Cancer and the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose. Away it goes. Don't worry about it because it ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't none of your business. Right? Right. I forgot to light my candles. I forgot. There you go. Okay. Never mind. I don't have to yell at it. Anyway, Cancers. First off, yours is interesting. I actually want you one card too many, but you have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Something stuck in your situation. I'm going to tell you right now, your, the title of yours is trying to avoid a fight causes the fight to happen. Because that's literally all I'm seeing right here. Like, open your energy. We have the star where you're trying to get some healing energy going, right? Or trying to communicate, trying to reach out. Aquarius's energy, right? Because you might got some regrets about how some stuff went down, right? Down in the situation, you are in yourself. King of Cups right here. You're using your emotions, your intuition, your whatever to figure out stuff. Like, because you guys, you, you guys go by feelings, not logic, right? And you're trying to be as humble as you can be in this situation and be like, hey, you know what? I'm trying to fill this shit out. I want to be friends. I, I, I just want to be friends. I want to hug. I'm so sad. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was kind of a dick thing to say. I'll stop. <laughs> but like, I'm going to show you here in a second, right? Your wants and wishes. You want to, like you or Crosswatch or whoever it is, whoever this queer it is, Cancer, like this Prince of Swords right here, like usually he's going into battle. He could easily drop that sword on that dynamite. He's covered in scars and shit because he's already fought stuff before. He's like, I will take you out if I need to. In this case, you're trying to turn your back on things and not have an argument, but you know, then, there, and then, and then there's that fucking mouth. Then there's that mouth. This person doesn't want to argue. They don't want to battle. But they run their mouth all damn day. It's just like, I'm not going to start this battle, but if you come over here just because I'm saying shit, you know, that's a completely different fucking story. Then I'm just going to yell at you till you go away. They're very immature about that. Like, you know, Paige, the Prince of Swords doesn't even have a mouth in this uh, deck right here. It, 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 like, you know, his mouth's completely covered with all sorts of other shit. So he can't speak on, I feel like, what he wants to fight about. However... He'll run his mouth about anything else just to get someone to go away, you know? Down any obstacles and challenges, and this is why I chose your title. Your obstacle and challenge is defending yourself in order to get your happiness. Like, you might be coming in with good intentions, and then, you know, boom! Person just snaps on you, right? That's why your title is going to be you avoiding a fight is going to start the fight you're trying to avoid. Because that's exactly what happens. You're trying to be cordial and this person's looking to throw down. Like, throw some hands with me. Little fisticles, right? Right. Up here in the fears and rejections, temperance could be with a Sagittarius, which is interesting because it's reversed down here. Um... It's like two people coming together. There needs to be a choice made with that. It could be a Sagittarius trying to make that choice. But down here, we have the Prince of Wands. Also, it could easily be a Sagittarius, and they're both reversed. They don't have any patience to work on shit, and they don't have the patience to deal with anybody else either. The beginning theme in this is the Nine of Cups making a wish and getting it fulfilled. Look at that cheesy and grin on that bitch. She's just like, I got a cup full of, like, cock, and I am happy. She's just digging the shit, so that's... Kind of like the theme of this all, so that's kind of interesting. So you might be, like, make it a wish. But it's like every time I read wishes for you guys, they always come up fucked up. You know? Let's see. Cancer and cross watch up. What's up? Would you clear it? Or you, depending. I feel like this is like you trying to figure things out, Cancer, and like you have no idea how to do that. Okay. So the star where you're trying to heal from, like feeling all this regrets or how these cups went down, right? Aww, you're just sad about how everything went down. You poor things. 
That's terrible. Look at that sad face on this guy. Like, he looks like he's getting ready to cry. You know. It's like, things just didn't pan out the way you thought that they would. It's like, you've been waiting, and wishing, and hoping, and praying, and nothing's just popped up. It's like, why are these growing faster? Ugh, I just won't lie. You know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm totally making fun of you guys way more. Oh! Are you getting a little possessive with what you have, y'all? Because you go to, from the 7 to the 6, like, immediately. And it's like, there's something you lost that was valuable to you, and now you're clinging to everything else. Um, almost like in a desperate attempt to keep it. Cancer, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I give you guys shit all the time, but it's like, I'm sorry, I'm a Capricorn. I'm just looking at this, like, what is going on here? <laughs> Uh, I'm such a dick. I'm sorry, but I love you. I promise. Um, but it, but it's really like you guys lost something. You're sad about it, and now it's like you're going into control freak mode. Six of Pentacles. There's no balance here. It's only balanced if everything goes the way you wanted to. Like I don't know, Cancers. You guys have a habit of always thinking that you're right. Sometimes, but it's only because that's how you feel. Not really anything bad. Ah. In the situation, you want to be the goodest boy ever. Get your pets, right? Because you feel like you've been left out of the cold for way too long, y'all. What is this about? What are you dealing with? It's making you feel like trash. You know, this per like your wants and wishes not starting to fight, but it's got you saying some nasty shit, or it's the person you're dealing with that's just responding in such a... Like, if this isn't you, Cancer, the person you're dealing with just has issues, you know. Um, they are very indecisive about how they want to fix themselves or fix their broken hearts. It's almost like a fresh fucking wound, right? Like, they don't want to fight, but they run their mouth. But it's only because they lost something valuable and they can't get the fuck over that, so now they're just being a fucking control freak, being possessive, being like, it's still my way or the highway, I don't care. It's like somebody left... And the person who got left is holding a fucking grudge out of nowhere. It's and it's and, it, and it's just like I actually had a cancer say that once to me before, many years ago, right? Like we got into it about something. And I was mad, and I'm one of those people where it's just like, you know what? Just leave me alone. Don't talk to me, and I'll come talk to you when I'm not pissed about it anymore. And I was slowly but surely starting to not be angry at this person because they did something really upsetting to me and it was just kind of like dude you know exactly what you did don't go around like saying that i i was the bad guy in some shit when you purposely like went to try to fuck somebody over right but this is like a long time ago and at some point some of me and my old co-workers like we're sitting at a table during lunch or something right now like all chilling because it was like our lunch break or whatever and we had sat beside each other and this fucking guy decides to go and say, oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm not a person who hold grudges like some people. And, you know, it was kind of like, oh, so you're you're going to say that in front of people when you think that, like, they're going to protect you, like they can protect you from me, but you're not actually going to talk to me about the issue at hand. And it's kind of like that energy. It's like they don't want to actually have the discussion in order to fix themselves, but they want to make the other person feel bad for because they feel bad for feeling bad or something. I don't know. It was one of those things. And I remember that cancer doing that. Because it was just kind of, it was something that like, like, you know, it, once cancer and a Capricorn like start getting under each other's skin, oh, it can be bad because the cancer won't let up even though they understand that the Capricorn will if they do, but they won't because they want to be right. Like, that's one thing I've noticed when I've gotten into it with cancer is it's like a control thing. And sometimes, not all of you, right? can be really fucking mean when you don't get what you want. It's like sometimes you guys pout and when somebody doesn't go for your pouting, like you need a bone thrown to you, it makes you upset and be like, well, they don't love me. And it's just like, no, dude. It's just sometimes people just don't want to put up with the bullshit. You know? But I feel like, I mean, like you'd be dealing with another cancer too, honestly, because that's really what it feels like. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm talking so much shit about you guys. I'm sorry. But that's one thing I remember. 
And maybe there was something wrong with that cancer. I know there was something wrong with me because I was a fucked up person anyway. But there was definitely something wrong with that fucking cancer. Because it was just like, how are you going to say that to somebody who, like, you almost caused them to have an accident? Yeah. I'm not going to go into the details of that shit. This was, like, many, 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 like, almost a decade ago when this person said this, right? I actually had another cancer say that to me, like, a few years ago, too, but I just looked at them like, oh, I'm not playing this game. Fuck y'all. I'm out. This cancer in particular, I actually tried to work things out with them, and they just kept throwing shit in my face, so it was just, like... After the fifth or sixth time, it was like, I'm not putting up with your shit anymore if you're not going to be a decent human being. But I feel like there's somebody here, Cancer, who's doing that to you. And I don't know why, but it's almost like... It's almost like I'm getting the vibe from you where it's like, huh, so that's what it's like on the outside looking in. Imagine that. Like, I, I really feel like you guys are feeling like an expression of like, it's almost like you're seeing yourself in somebody else. And it's almost like that's why you want to avoid the fight because you already know if I react this way, they're going to react this exact same way. And I'm trying to avoid that. And there's the sun. Fucking sun. Maybe I like. Ooh, that almost worked. Yes. Hold on. I'm being a trash panda right now. There we go. Okay, that helps it. There's a little bit of light over on yonder, but that's okay, because I'm not worried about it. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's continue on before I keep, like, insulting you guys. My bad. And I really don't mean that all you cancers do it, because I know y'all don't do it, but the ones I've run into and had that issue, you know. Those are the ones who I'm kind of referring to. Not every cancer's like that. Not every cancer is a heartless piece of shit. Which y'all hates. Mm. You get four on this one. Okay. So the seven of wands right here where, you know, you're, it, like the obstacle and challenge is defending yourself, basically. Because that's what this dude's doing. He's on a small ledge. There are people coming against him from all angles and cancer. I feel like people are doing that to you. Probably using, like, what makes you happy against you, in a sense, you know. And, you know, you're you're kind of willing to pretend to go to sleep so no one says that it's your fault or tries to blame you a little bit. Like, you, like, I don't know, it's, it's almost like you just want to ignore things. But it's also like, you know, if there's an ignoring of things, everything's going to burn. You know, you might think it's wise and logical to turn your back, but when you go deep inside to look at shit, yeah, like, this ain't it, chief. This is not it. Okay. Let's see. Temperance with a decision. It could be a Sagittarius needing to make a choice when it comes to coming together with somebody, right? Ah, come here. Come as it's here. Okay. Everybody plays the fool. Hmm. It's like some, like, an enter entertaining others at your own expense. Or you can choose a different Betty. But if you go for a black Betty right here, that black Betty might have that mouth that might get under your skin. If you go for red Betty, they're just going to keep leaving you as a fool. Or feeling like a fool where you have to entertain everybody else. And you really are trying to get out of this energy where it's like... Are you guys going to, like, let me have something? Or is this just a whole, like, fuck me right now kind of thing, you know? Down below and how this shit starts, how it'll end. The Prince of Wands with Temperance. Like, this person doesn't want to take an action because they have been impatient and they don't have the patience for it anymore. Yeah, the Magician came in with this fate. Moved it forward, right? In order... I know I've been laying three down, but I, and I didn't mean to, but I'm still going to do it anyway, but fuck it. Like, cancer! Um. Oh, 
okay, look, I'm just, I'm just gonna say this right. Somebody instigated shit with another person, and the magician's in red, so I, I in white. So I'm figuring this is the magician red and white. What they didn't realize, I feel like, is that whoever this person is right here has a I will murder myself as long as you're dead too kind of mentality. They had way more energy and passion in this. And I feel like whoever this magician person was didn't understand where they were propelling their fate to. Because it's kind of like, you know, everybody dies in this. Like, green, blue dude is not going to let, like, red, white guy go anywhere. They're both going to die on this volcanic island for no reason except just the battle to the death. You know? This might be somebody you know, Cancer, from back in the day. Way, way back in the day, right? I feel like so bad because I hate, like, talking about some things in the signs because it's really not the signs. And it's not like you guys really do the naughty things, right? But at the same time, it's like, you know... Cancer, you're kind of scary. <laughs> like, you're meaner than I am. And I'm a Capricorn. Like, shit. You guys are just really good at being sweet, too. Which you are. But I always feel bad because then it's like, I'm always, like, lecturing you, Cancer, and you really don't need it. What's the ending theme with this energy? Ooh. A mad empress got a wish? Who that? Who that, bitch? Because <laughs> that's not you. I mean, you're the mother figure of the Zodiac, yeah, but that's not you. That is not you. At all. It's somebody else. So who is she? Like, a mad empress got her wish. Like, a mother figure or some shit, but she's all mad and stuff. But somebody got their wish. Hmm. I'm not sure, Cancer. Like, this is different. I don't know who she is. She, like, the Amorx hasn't shown up at all. And it's like... Like, when I was doing, like, my Divine Counterparts read, she used to be a karmic for me. When, it, like, if the Emperor's or the Queen of Pentacles came up reverse, that was the karmic for me. And it's almost like that's the same person, and that's kind of creeping me out. Did you wish for a fucking karmic cancer and cross watcher? Is that what you did? Or maybe they were wishing for you. Mm, let's go ahead and clarify these and find out. But seriously, yours is going to be like avoiding the fight, start the fight. Seven of pentacles again. Yeah, someone... <sighs> oh, cancer. Okay, so originally... Dude, we're all upset that, like, he lost a pentacle and became power-hungry, right? But then it's like, you know, well, who took that one pentacle? It's almost like they took this one pentacle as an obsession for why they became a, a, a control freak, right? It's like they took that one pentacle and held on to it. Um, in the value of the sense that, that it was worth something, they don't physically have it. But it's a possession in their mind. But because they were so obsessed with that to keep this Six of Pentacles going, all the rest of these Pentacles are going to end up rotting. Um, cancer and Cross Watchers alike. It's like whoever has this much control over the other Six Pentacles is getting to the point now where they're obsessing about the one they lost and now the rest of them are going to rot because they're not taking care of it. It's like someone's sitting there like thinking, what can I do? How can I do this? Um, are they ever going to bring that shit back so I can crush them? What the fuck? Okay, no. No, no, no. As tempting as it might be to make someone feel as bad as you did, that's not a good idea. Could be... Mm, I'm not sure, guys. It's like, even if someone offered you a pentacle, it's going to be the crush, y'all. You know? Down below in the situation where, uh... Someone wants to be the goodest boy ever, even after they've been left out of the cold. They can't take the leap of faith to get themselves out of the cold. They're too busy worried about people watching and carry their sack of shit around. You know, you're like, oh, well, I don't want anyone to know this me. I'm just gonna chill out, you know, like, it's like you're too scared to take that leap of faith or whatever, right? Your wants and wishes up here, where someone's really indecisive about how they healed their broken heart. Uh, you, you might need to come off of that trip, man. Might be a bad trip. Feels like you've been on drugs for a while or something, right? 
realizing that things weren't working out because the work wasn't put in to make the statue look very good in order to get you to the place where you want to be, whether that be heaven or some other shit. I don't fucking know. Fuck you, son. I hate you. Anyway, um, let's continue. Praise the sun, but fuck it when it's in the wrong position, you know? Or at least try to get on the board. It's trying to tell you it's break time. I'll take a break here after I'm done the cancers. So let's see. Obstacles and challenges, you know. Oh, what's this? this? Pretending to sleep so, and ignore that everything's burning down, turning your back because you think that's logical to do. But then, like, the hermit once again coming out here, being like, hey, maybe I should look in here and realize that maybe I'm setting myself up for failure. Or this could be somebody doing this to you, Cancer. Because I really feel like people are doing that to you. Ah, we got the magician right here. Someone's trying to manifest some shit. They're trying to manifest the power to let some shit go. Cancer, it's probably going to have to be you. Like, if you're avoiding shit, you're creating your own shit, right? If you are not avoiding shit, well, then that's a completely different um, thing. But you're going to have to have to manifest the energy and the ability to let some shit go. Just fuck it. Just run your mouth and let that shit fly. Or maybe that's the whole thing. Like, maybe somebody needs to open their mouth and be completely rude before they finally get the understanding that, hey, maybe I wasn't helping this situation as much as I thought it was by keeping my mouth shut and not, like, actually expressing what's bothering me because you know page of wands he just comes up and talks shit he doesn't even say anything that's relevant to the conversation really but the pay the the prince of swords though he usually does because he's more like communication or whatnot like the page of wands he just likes to argue the page of swords he's arguing to a point and it's like you're avoiding the point in order to keep up something aggressive or this person's doing this to you cancer and cross watchers your fears or rejections, there might be a battle you don't even know that's going on behind your back. Or you're hoping that people will battle over you. But you chose a betty. Like you, you made a choice. Why would they continue the fight over you if you've already made a choice? What? Cancer? What the fuck? Okay, so, were you expecting people to somewhat fight over you, or was someone expecting you to fight over them, and then you were just, yeah, you know, I kick rocks now. Like, you saw the battlement, and then you just walked away, and they came running, like, what are you doing? Where are you going? And the person was like, um, I'm not staying here. I'm dropping one more. Yeah, it's like this person bit off more than they could chew. Or something. It's like someone went in for a jugular and they fucked themselves up on their own horse. Knight of Swords. Uh, he's also here as well as Prince of Swords. Both times. It's like the person who doesn't want to argue their point. Tried to come in with a statement before and instead they got fucked up off their horse because they were saying the wrong thing. Or they went about saying the wrong thing with that page of wands right here. It's like, you know... Someone let their anger get to them more than they did their love for somebody, and that's where it really fucked them up. It was like they were expecting somebody to fight for them. But because they went into this really nasty energy, they caused the person to walk away. Instead, it'd be like, you don't care about me. Why am I even sticking around this situation? That's probably you, Cancer. It's just like, why am I staying with somebody who treats me like that? You know? How this shit starts, how it'll end. This was, yeah, that, like, especially with that five and ones below. This was definitely an energy of free-for-all. It was like everybody was going after everybody and nobody cared if they survived. Did you go tit-for-tat with somebody, Cancer? Because <laughs> that's kind of what it, if This feels like a tit-for-tat energy. Wait, this is the wrong deck. How the fuck? This is not what I was just... Okay. What? That, I literally was not holding this. Okay, there could be a King of Pentacles involved. Possibly Capricorn, right? Hmm. Didn't get away with anything sneaky. Dealt with a lot of injustices. Can't get over shit. And that was all nettled. So that's, and becoming the magician. So yeah, maybe that's the person you're dealing with. Maybe you're dealing with your polar opposite. I can't, a Capricorn. Such as myself. And if you all were arguing, yeah. 
tit for tat, because, like, that's just how it works between us, but it's, like... Both tits are really good tats. Ha ha. But it's, like, you know... It's, like, both parties? It's, it's, it's literally, like, it, it's, like, if someone actually spoke what was bothering them, fucking suck. Like, it would have been completely fucking different. But because they didn't, it, it came off as something completely different. Yeah, I gotta wait a few hours for the damn sun. But that's okay. But yeah, Cancer, it's like... Whoever you and Crosswatch were dealing with, it was tit-for-tat energy. Yeah! Yeah, tit-for-tat energy. And I feel as though... Nobody's really letting up. Nobody wants to give... Nobody wants to yield. Too many people want control in this scenario. Ew, yeah. Counterparts. Mmm. Neither of you are happy. Cancers and cross watchers alike. I think you guys are the longest reading so far with this new type of layout I'm doing. But, damn. Be very careful, because I feel like... I feel like you really want to, like, deal with some cancer. All you really want is a fucking friend. That's all you ever wanted with somebody to be your friend. But it's like, I don't know. If this was your friend, it's like you guys just can't seem to get on the same page because neither one of you two are really communicating as much as, you know, you are um, running your mouths just to see who will be the winner. You know, and I think that's the biggest issue here. If that makes sense to y'all. It's like... If y'all stop talking that nonsense to each other, you probably get on the same page. But it's like you guys aren't, so I don't know. But this energy right here is not helpful. In fact, coming out with all this anger and action is what's possibly blocking the Prince of Swords from actually getting anything together and getting the victory he wants in communication, too. So take that into consideration, y'all. But... That's the reading I got for you. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share it, and subscribe. If you, Unless you didn't, because I do tend to run my mouth a lot with you cancers, but it's all out of love. Uh, I'll greatly appreciate it, but no pressure, of course. But I will see you guys later. Love your faces, and bye bye